The blockchain basically has four main benefits from a geo viewpoint. A shared ledger, which is an append-only distributed system of record shared across a business network. Uh, a smart contract where business terms are embedded in the transaction database and executed with the actual transactions themselves. It provides privacy where ensuring appropriate visibility, transactions are secure, authenticated and verifiable. Uh, it also provides validation where all parties agreed across a network using a verified transaction. So RJS is currently being connected um, to blockchain ledgers globally in, in several applications, such as the supply chain management across Europe, land registry, and uh, in, in land registry in several places else, and land registry and cadastre in Turkey, and smart contracts here in the UAE. So I'll let Mohammed from our partner, Apla, talk you through our collaboration in the region. Thank you, Adele. Something can't exist until it exists in time and space. A blockchain with a geospatial tag makes that possible and allows mapping of events in a temporal sequence. This builds a crucial infrastructure that opens new business models, gives a spatial context to transaction and events. We are here to demonstrate a prototype of the integration of ArcGIS with Appla blockchain and understand its benefits for land registry departments and the government authority. A land department registrar logs into the system using their credentials. She creates a new property on the map. She can toggle through different layers on the ArcGIS depending on the information they require, such as electric, electricity lines, sewage system for that certain property. In this case, it's a building that, that is required to be registered. The building is selected. The ID, among other information such as coordinates, Makani mm -hmm. ID, deed number is auto-populated with data coming in from the ArcGIS. A block ID number is created and stored in the blockchain's immutable ledger. Another department, in this case RERA, is able to view this newly registered property and append the, the record to the building through the smart contract process. RERA decides to split the property into two and make it as two new property with two new IDs which creates two new block ID number that is stored within the Apple block blockchain. This automatically updates the GIS while referring to the blockchain ledger. Geospatial blockchain brings a layer of authentication, traceability, and business process automation that was not possible before. Let's look into the more obvious ones. Within land management and municipalities, for example, sharing of detailed business, I mean, building plans for urban planning and development, the transactional data and geospatial information exchanged between the revenue department, department of registration, and land records department tends to lose synchronism as it is maintained in different databases. Blockchain delivers a single version of truth across the network. Supply chain and IoT. The movement of goods transshipment can be traced and delivery costs calculated and debited automatically. All of the above shall be transformed with smart contracts for automation, monetization, and compliance. Back to you, Adel. Thanks, Mohammed. So we are currently working with Appla to make this a fully integrated system that leverages the distributed advent of blockchain with the power of GIS. We're working with this, uh, with this uh, blockchain technology the new, uh, in several applications. It is, uh, it is very much the future of where GIS is going in terms of distributed and connected environments within the world. Thank you. Mm -hmm.